<laughs> I'm in danger. Hey there, welcome to the junk drawer. My name is Enzo, and today I am so, so very excited for this doll slash figure. Um, this is something that has been on my grail list for uh, quite a while because <clears throat> it's just so, so expensive on the secondary market. Like we're talking like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, so I kind of put it on the list thinking, okay, I don't want to forget about it, but I'm probably not going to get it anytime soon. But, uh, one of you happened to be selling this, uh, toy collector review spots. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for selling this to me. Uh, I think they were kind of downsizing their collection. So, uh, yeah, I jumped on that real quick. Uh, I'll put a link to their Instagram page in the description below. But yeah, uh, so this doll, the this uh, Tassa Tassa doll slash action figure, they're calling it a fashion doll, but it's more of a fig, it's kind of a, kind of a hybrid, I guess, more than anything. But they are made, I think they're made by Out Collector Figures, which is based in Europe, I believe. I couldn't find, I couldn't find a ton of information on, on this whole company. So I don't know a lot, unfortunately, but they do have other figures on their websites that I, I also would love to have. But uh, and I'll show you, I'll throw up some, some pictures here so you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, I just love the aesthetic of these figures. They're kind of like, they're kind of like anime slash, uh, I forget what it's called when it's like bigger guys uh, in the anime style. There's, there's definitely like a name for that. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but um, yeah, I just love this style. And also it's another anatomically correct uh, figure. So apparently, I'm into those for some reason. So I did open up the package before I started recording. So uh, it's already out of the package. Uh, they also included a bonus figure for me. So uh, they included this Barbie Dreamtopia uh, mermaid uh, doll, which is adorable. I think he's on my wish list, actually, if I, if I remember correctly. So let's open him up real quick. So it looks like he comes in two pieces, uh, his tail and his body, and it just plugs right in. And there you go. <laughs> There's the, the doll. I don't know if he has a name or not, but he's super cute. Um, not a ton of articulation, just side to side, and then arms up and down. He does have articulation at his uh, hips though, which is nice. Uh, and then the fin goes side to side. But yeah, this is a super cute, uh, cute, cute doll. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad to add him to my collection. Thank you. All right, ready for the main main event? I also had to uh, re uh, dress him because he came fully naked. And unfortunately I can't show you all of his naughty bits. So I just redressed him in his clothing. Um, but yeah, so this is the Tasa Tasa. It's actually the Tasa Tasa My Bear Guy. There are other, I think there are other Tasa Tasas uh, on the website, if I'm remembering remembering correctly. But this one is specifically My Bear Guy, uh, and they call it a fashion doll. But he is uh, he is a a bear uh, technically, so that's kind of why he's called My Bear Guy. It's pretty obvious, but I love this packaging. I think it's so cute. It's a, it's a cute little bear cutout. And I don't know if you can see, but there's like um, divots. There's three divots here that form like the bear face. I don't know if you can tell there or not, but it's super cute. And then I love the wood grain uh, pattern on the front, super adorable. And then on the back, or on the, I'm sorry, on the side is the same, or it's, a, it's like a fall, like foresty kind of pattern. Says so the same thing, Tasa Tasa. And then on the back is uh, an illustration of him. I'm covering up his naughty bits, just, just in case you're wondering. But uh, yeah, so, and then this is, uh, and there's a bunch of credits on the back. Uh, let's talk about the figure. So let me get him out of the box and we'll take a closer look. 
I forgot to mention, this is a uh, one of those boxes that open up. It's got a uh, magnetic closure here. So that's super cute. Love that. All right, so here he is. This is his front and his back. So first impressions, um, I love, I mean, I. I adore him. I think he is so cute, and uh, it's kind of crazy having having him in hand after um, lusting after him <laughs> for so long. Uh, but yeah, uh, he's also very weighty, which I love. So it's like it's like very like heavy, which which is which is great. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited to talk about him. So let's get a closer look. So his head. So he's got molded on hair. He does have bare ears. And I think they're supposed to be like part of his head sculpt because I think he is maybe an actual bear also, um, which is super cute. His face is adorable. That's the profile. Super, super cute. Uh, it is very small compared to the rest of his body, and you'll be able to tell that. I'm going to show you what he looks like without his clothes, but uh, yeah, he's got a tiny, tiny head, but it's it's cute nonetheless. Uh, and then if we go down to his outfit, um, this is a plaid kind of fur-lined vest that is very, like, kind of stereotypical bear, which is kind of, it's fine. It's That's what makes it appealing, I think. Uh, there are functioning pockets on the sides here. Uh, this one I don't think is functional. I don't want to like pry it open to see, but uh, these two are functioning at least. And then if we go down, so these shorts, uh, and they mentioned that these shorts are not original to, to this. So uh these are like replacement shorts but i might try to find shorts that are similar to what the the original ones are but these are fine for now uh and then his shoes are super detailed uh, i love the the painted laces and the trim on the bottom is a different color also the bottom has treads so super super detailed uh boots uh, and yeah, that's basically his outfit. So let me undress him and we'll take a look at the articulation. So here he is in the buff, kind of, not really. But anyway, I'll show you his articulation. Uh, his head is on a ball joint, so it does go around and around. Uh, he does have movement at the shoulder, elbow, his wrists do um, swivel around. They don't go in and out. So it just kind of goes around and around. And the elbow joint is interesting because it's not necessarily a double joint. Um, not like a made to move, but there are, it is more than just a single joint, if that makes sense. Uh, and then he does have chest articulation, so he can move he can actually spin all the way around, which makes it really weird, um, but fun, I guess. So there is that. And then uh, that's about it as far as articulation goes. Uh, everything is just solid. There's no articulation on his bottom half. Um, I do want to talk about his uh, details. So. It may be a little hard to tell, but he does have sculpted hair on his chest and then right above his, or right under his belly button. There is sculpted hair on his forearm here. His hands are pretty amazing. They look very lifelike. Like they're very um, human accurate, I guess. Uh, I just love the way they're sculpted. They look very realistic, which is awesome. Same thing with his feet. His feet are super realistic as well. Even the bottoms of his feet are like wrinkled a little bit. So the amount of detail in these sculpts is pretty amazing. Um, and like I said, he is anatomically correct. Uh, I'm not gonna show you in this video, but uh, I can show you his butt. Uh, there you go. 
cute little butt. So final thoughts on this Tasa Tasa, my bear guy. I, number one, I'm very happy to have him in my collection, finally. Um, I think his sculpt is amazing. It is, it is so, it's very much, it's very detailed. I didn't, I guess I didn't realize how detailed it was or I wasn't paying attention or whatnot, but like the sculpted fur and the details on the hands and the feet, the adorable face, like everything about it I love. Um, I think, I wish it was not, or I wish it was more available in the States or less expensive. Um, but other than that, I think this is a, a, an amazing figure. And if you can get him at a, at a decent price, I don't know, you'll definitely have to go to the secondary market or in my, in, in my case, happen to come across someone who is selling their their collection or, or whatnot. But uh, definitely recommend this one. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna add him to my anatomically correct uh, doll collection. I guess that's that's my thing now. So uh, if you know of any other anatomically correct dolls, uh, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what you think of this guy. Uh, I would love to know, I would love to hear your feedback on him. So thank you as always for watching. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe and I hope you're having a lovely whenever you're watching this and I will catch you next time.